happened was, and then of course with snare drum technique, or other percussion, you're using a combination of both. Singles, wrist, doubles, fingers and wrist, pedal, fingers and wrist. Because you're going with the wrist, you get single strokes, but of course everybody knows a double, stick goes down, stick comes up, fingers get the next stroke. And then you just control going between wrist, fingers and wrist, wrist, singles, doubles, parallel, doubles, singles. That's all wrist there, or fingers. And you go between the two different techniques. What happened with me, playing especially simple music, I was using my wrist when I play loud. And I'm using my forearm. I use my upper arm, and then I'm playing from here. But I'm not pinching the stick. Because I, if you did, you would seriously hurt yourself. So it evolved over a long time. I remember I used to play like this in mountain camp because the guys were hung over. And I'd think, God, you guys are playing the wimp. There's 20,000 people out there. Come on. Come on. I'd be doing that. And that was like, I guess, extreme molar. But I'm not like going, you know, I'm very, the whole body, it's like a golf, golfer. When the golfer swings, his whole body is hitting the ball. By the time the club hits the ball, his whole body's doing all the work. He's going, look at that. He's already through, and then the club hit, then the head of the club hits it. Same with tennis. You don't go up to a ball and go, Hoot. you go up the ball while it's coming at you, and the guy, the person's already making moves, you know, to wind up and then follow through. It's the whole body. The only thing about drumming is that we're cut in half because we're sitting. So I'm playing from the core, my feet, I'm thinking here. And then with here, same thing. So if I'm going, still feeling it from my belly. It just, the motion gets bigger. And that's when I start letting go of, you know, letting this, or hitting symbols. I'm trying not to grab tight.